Hey everyone, this is Shalini Joshi Amdagni and in this video we are talking about three things you can do to get unstuck from your situation, whatever that is. Whether it's health or relationships or finances or any other area. So what is the first thing I do? This is three tips that I, you know, uh, apply. Of course, there's a gazillion things you could do. So one of the first things I do is I start journaling. I love writing, I love journaling, and so I will journal about this stuck situation. And what am I writing? I'm writing all my fears and worries and doubts and frustrations and irritations and feelings of impatience or whatever I'm feeling, I pour it all out on a piece of paper. Now, how does that help get unstuck, right? Because you're still in that situation. So the thing is that it's all about energy. Emotions are energy in motion, and stuck emotions create inner blockages that eventually create outer blockages. And so when you, you know, you can't control what's going on outside of you, but at least what you can do is clear the internal blockages, the jittery feelings, the dis-ease that you're feeling inside, which is blocking your flow. At least that much you can do by releasing it, emptying your inner, uh, you know, uh, dis-ease out onto a piece of paper where, you know, you feel uh, you can see it and you feel lighter. You feel like you've released and let go and you've shifted your energy a bit instead of carrying this inner internal struggle as you move forward. So journaling is an absolute key for me. Number two is, of course, tapping. EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques. If you're watching my YouTube channel, there's plenty of videos to show you how to do EFT and if you're watching this on an, another social media platform uh, or somewhere else then you know you can go to my YouTube channel EFT with Shalini and find tons and tons of videos on how to do tapping. So what I would do is I would use EFT tapping and just follow the basic sequence of tapping on my karate chop and say even though I'm feeling so stuck about La 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 la, I deeply and completely love, forgive and accept myself. And then I would tap on all the other acupuncture points as I tune into all the stuff that I'm feeling and you know I'm believing or worrying about, I will just go and keep tapping till I've vented. So it's kind of vent and tap. This is helpful too because we are addressing this challenge, this stuckness mentally, emotionally, physically with the tapping and energetically because you're tapping on energy meridian points. And so all you're trying to do is go from a state of feeling dis-ease about this topic to feeling more calm and more peace. And why is that important? Well, if you're carrying disempowering feelings and limiting thoughts, you are keeping yourself stuck, right? And so as you release and let go from your energy, from your heart, from your mind, you shift your energy. And the more you can bring yourself to a place of ease and peace about this topic, the more you get yourself unstuck and in flow. What does flow mean? Flow means when you're feeling calm and peace and allowing the energy to flow, right? You're not, uh, emotions are energy in motions and stuck emotions is stuck energy. So you, at least you are not being the roadblock to you, what you want, all right? And the third thing that I would do, and now this might si uh, sound a little bit different from uh, the other things, is I would go and declutter my house. So one of the things that I always do when I'm feeling stuck, heavy, and just, you know, in a funk or in a, in a, in a stagnant situation is I will go and declutter parts of my house that are feeling cluttered. It could be my bedroom, it could be my kitchen, it could be my storeroom, it could be any part. 
And the truth is that everything is energy and your space is your energy. So if you're living in a cluttered environment, you're keeping yourself stuck. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, an, it's all energy, it's all energetic. And so when you clear your space and you let go of things that you, you're holding on to and or something's broken, it's just lying. I had uh, a, a week ago, I, there's a storeroom right there and there was stuff lying from, you know, uh, when the kids were small and it's, uh, it's still, it can still be used, but it hasn't been used for like seven, eight years and so, I decided to let that go. It could be anything like that. It could be in your closet. So declutter your space to create more space to allow all the things that you want to come into experience to get you into more flow. It's like the energy is flowing inside of you and in your environment too. So anything that's cluttered, it's cluttering your energetic flow. So those are the three things, journaling, tapping, and decluttering your space that can help you get unstuck, in flow, and moving rapidly towards the things that you want to happen. So I hope that was helpful. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.